welcome back to Mega Thrillers. This is Megan Kural, your host for today, and I'm joined with a very, very, very special guest, my father, also known as Dr. Mucharya Kural, who is a public motivational speaker. So, Dr. Mucharya Kural, welcome back to our show. So it's my privilege, and don't take her as my daughter for today. On this time, uh, she is as a brilliant shining star, like all of the little kids. Tare Jameen Par and uh, uh, it's my privilege that uh, she is interviewing me because uh, she is getting popularity with uh, her videos. So will you begin or should I begin? Yeah, I will begin. You don't need to. Do you it. have got your paper today with you. you it's have not done your, your paper. It's you, paper. Have, you have done your homework, right? Yeah. So why you are so nervous? I'm not nervous. Hmm. Okay. So today, I'm going to be interviewing him and I'm going to ask some questions that most of the people would want to ask uh, public motivational speakers. Um, these questions are often related to inspiration and stuff. So without further ado, let's begin this video. So the first question, you know, what inspires you to do what you do today? See, uh, a person who wants to achieve heights in his or her life, uh, he or she should love what he or she is doing and if you don't love what you are doing ultimately your work will be a burden you will be surprised to know that uh, the people most of the time what they say that i am overburdened why only me and uh, they feel tired uh, i am only uh, one of the few people who say that i love my work and i have never done work throughout my life because i enjoy what i do and I do what I love. So as far as the inspiration goes, your question uh, is answered in that way that uh, uh, my inspiration is myself because Vivekananda uh, in, our, uh, in his sermons uh, most of the time you will see that uh, he has said it quite often that the person who does not love himself or herself can't love others. So. All the foundation is within you and uh, you need to explore yourself from within. Uh, that's we call it inside out in motivation. So that was a very present answer for the question. So the next question is, um, we can say that public speaking is an art. Motivating others is also an art. So what do you love about the art of public speaking? Uh, let me correct you on this that uh, motivation everything is an art and a science because it's a coin that has two sides art is that uh, what you craft and science is that has some principles that has some formulas so motivation first of all is a science because it studies human behavior and the most difficult uh, part of a society the most difficult thing on this art, art is to correct the behavior of a person because you can say that I will get up at 4 p.m. 4 a.m. and I will run uh, I will have uh, eat healthy foods I will sleep uh, before time like at 10 p.m. but what goes wrong the next morning you still are waking up at the same time at 8 a.m. 7 a.m. and the promises you have made with yourself they go all in vain so it's a science because suppose if you want to get up early, uh, you can't do it uh, next morning. You can do it once or two or twice, but you should reduce the time of uh, like waking up early by 15 minutes. So within one or two weeks, like if you want to get up at uh, 5 a.m., five if you want to join 5 a.m. club, what you need to do is uh, reduce the time of waking up 15 minutes. Start from 8, then next day 7.45, then 7.30. So one day you will be able to wake up at 5 a.m. So, and I, as far as art is going, um, it's like very much art. It's quite beautiful to be with the people like you and the, to the students, uh, with students like you and uh, the people when they feel motivated and they reply, they give their feedback. So it's a science as well as an art. It's a coin that has two sides, right? Yes. So inspired by your answer to this question, I am pretty sure that there will be a few people out there who will promise themselves that they will wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. 
including me. I'm not going to be shy about this. But um, what do you will uh, what do will you suggest those people? Like like what what should I suggest for what in what regard? Like they promise themselves that they will wake up early tomorrow, but they never you know end up waking up at so, the time. Right. So first you need to set up the goal. A goal. Uh, life without goal is like a ship without a radar, without a destination. So if you board a bus and you don't have a ticket, you don't have a destination, it can take you anywhere. So the first thing you need to have a goal and then secondly goal plan and third and the most important thing is the implementation of that plan because most of the people they plan to fail so plan to achieve success is different and that's why the, we the people like motivational speakers are needed in the society because we give them really tested plans like yeah. there are some plans to get failure there are some plans to get success see yeah okay so what will you suggest a person or a child like my age or any age in particular who is dreaming about you know, to be a public figure to be just like you a motivational speaker mm -hmm. what will you suggest them to do so don't run after popularity first it's a byproduct it should not be the aim it should not be the main focus that you should get popular with the people so first you need to what you need to have is that you should have some product or services what you can offer to the society so if you can motivate them freely if you can motivate them through your writings if you can motivate them through your paintings if you can motivate them you can make them feel good through your singing through your painting through your writing whatever through your dancing so it's the the first thing that you need to focus upon is what you can give to others and in their response as a byproduct, you get the popularity. The popularity should not be the main focus. Focus should be the on the giving. You will receive what you give. You must have heard. You must have read the stories. You shall read what you saw. Yeah. 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 As you know, everyone is not you know a huge fan of a crowd. As some people have faced the problem of stage fright. Yes. So. What do you think that is stage fright, um, you know? Okay, just... I, I, I go to your question. Yeah. You see, the uh, the most, uh, what, is, what should I say, the, the, the people, uh, they fear most from is public speaking after fear of death. So everybody is afraid of getting died. And after that, I feel that public speaking is the most challenging task for anyone and uh, like it comes with practice perfect practice not only practice because if you practice poorly unguidedly in a poor way in a failure way you will not get success so a perfect practice only make a perfect man yes. so you need to practice like mirror practice you know what Abraham Lincoln used to do he used to go into the parks and he used to practice uh, before all the trees, assuming them people. So all the big people, all the big faces, they practice art of public speaking. So it's a quite similar thing. You practice good writing, you practice good dancing, you learn from a teacher. So similarly motivation yeah, and the public speaking comes from within. Okay, you realize that you want to become a good public speaker. And uh, you learn from a good expert, from your teacher, and lastly, you practice a lot. Yeah, practice makes a man perfect. Perfect practice <laughs> yeah. within quotes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, again, public speaking isn't, isn't that much easy. People forget what they wanted to say a lot. That happened with me when I started off. Too. So, you know, they get on stage, They like they are just... Imagining that this will be great, you know what, just let, let's get on the stage. You go there and you forgot what you're saying. 
and it's just second line of him. So is it a thing to really panic on because they start panicking after this happened? So never prepare. The best strategy is never prepare. No tree prepares for the tomorrow. No bird prepares for the tomorrow. And it becomes your second nature. Like I love public speaking. You give me audience and I will feel motivated and I will speak according to this people. I will speak according to the uh, circumstance. I will speak according to the needs of the people. It's not like a bucket that you carry along with you that you prepared a night before and you will throw on the people. You have to be responsive. You have to be with the people, with the mind of the people. So uh, just learn um, and uh, imbibe in you that what you love and just give the people what you have. As simple as that. So no plans are needed. You will not for forget anything if you don't cram anything. Right? Yeah. You speak your heart out. You speak from your heart, not from your mind. Yes. You have a lot of books. Okay. Right. <laughs> you have a lot of books. It's hard to name them because mm. I don't really know. Um, you have I mean, awesome books. Okay. Mm. So in the making of those books, what did you keep in mind that you have to, you know, give the message to the people um, throughout your books. So what was in your mind when you were making them? So see, I saw a dream that uh, every person, especially in my country and my you know, in my hometown should carry my book uh, in, in their hands. So that dream is coming true and uh, so what I keep in mind when I write my book is like uh, when the people they read my book they should relate themselves to the reading they should relate themselves to the book they should relate themselves to the picture which I am projecting and they should feel motivated so every word like my books if you will read I try to uh, make them like I am speaking to them they are not reading my books I am speaking to them so it's like a bit uh, kind of conversation with my audience with my readers Again, you have a book, 30 Powerful Laws and of Professional Success. So basically, um, in that book, there is a lot, lot of things about success. As in the name of the book, we have success. So in that, what do you think, you know, motivates the people and uh, what does it relate in su about success in your life? See, uh, the name of the book is 30 Powerful Laws of Personal and Professional Success. And uh, it is published by Viva Books, one of the most leading uh, book publishers throughout the world. And uh, it's an international book, you must be knowing. So, uh, in the book, uh, like uh, it has done wonders to a lot of people and still it is doing. And you can get it on Amazon, Flipkart and various other platforms. Yes, the link is in the description, yes, you can buy Yes, of course, you will give them, I know. So uh, the book is the crux is the crux of my experience with the people is the uh, epitome is the reflection of my experiences uh, what I have studied what I have learned what I have been uh, like imbibing in me with the being uh, with the, my ideals with my uh, big uh, like uh, what should I the big personality is my uh, mentors my teachers and even I learn from you huh? everybody is learning and it's a great thing because uh, as soon as the learning is stopped uh, the person like um, in my view he stops breathing learning is more important than breathing because uh, empty minds are of no use you must be knowing that the people like Bill Gates, uh, Warren Buffett and all these great CEOs people they they at least study 50 to 60 books per year so there are like 52 or uh, uh, it's, a, it's a target one book per week at least one should be studying so these are like uh, books like see you at the top and uh, Think and Grow Rich. My book also is our, is at uh, the, in the in the list. So you should uh, learn. You should love what you do and do what you love. As a message, quite clear and simple. Yeah, 
Yes, well, this was a really quite pleasure having you over here on our channel. I hope meeting you forward. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Go buy 30 powerful.